What up, Wayfinders? Welcome to the Wayfinder Training Force, where I try to keep you updated on all things Wayfinder. So today's video is going to be a weapons review. So I have maxed out every single weapon in the game, including the five new weapons that just came out. So I'm going to be giving you some comparisons and give you my opinions on what I think is the best weapons out of these new bunch. Um, but before we get started, I just want to say that um, I can't do timestamps. They will be in the description, but they won't appear as chapters on the bottom of my videos. Um, I do not have enough subscribers, so YouTube took away my ability to do chapters. So if you want to subscribe to help me, so that way we can get chapters on these videos and you can skip ahead in the future, I'd appreciate it. But if not, that's okay too. Um, I'm not tripping. I'm not worried about it. Or I don't blame you. Um, but anyways, um, for reference though, if you wanted to skip around in the video, um, you can use the description. There will be timestamps in the description. Or you can look in the top corner of the video and I'm going to post a logo of the weapon that I'm reviewing. So that way it's easy to skip through. Try and make it easier on you guys. All right, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look at my inventory real quick. I'm just going to show you that I do have them all at level 30. I tried to do this review before I started awakening everything, but I was trying out the system. So I want to try to give a fair and even review and do some comparisons. So ransom right there, that one's actually a duplicate. I do have it maxed. All right, I did all of my leveling. Um, through the natural way because XP gains are so high right now so I didn't have to use uh, very many scrolls at all I barely used any I only used a couple to try out the system because I believe they're gonna be worth more XP in the future after everybody's burned them out so this is the web the accessory set that I'm gonna be using and for all of the weapons when I test them and these are the echoes that I have equipped essentially just some break power ability power and some weapon power echoes all of the weapons are going to be uh completely empty on echoes when i'm showing you all of their abilities so they will just scale up when you get to use them all right so today's weapon that we're going to be reviewing today is going to be umbros the new twin dagger set now when we take a look at its special ability it reads a thousand cuts perform a flurry of slashes around the wayfinder in all directions and the stats that are on this weapon are crit rating, resilience, ability power, mag defense, weapon power, and physical defense. And for slots that it features, it's got one of each. One guard, one balance, and one attack. Alright. And then there you can see what my stats are with it equipped. I'll show you again here in a second. But there you go. That's a quick snapshot of what my stats are when I have it equipped with no echoes. All right, so we are going to be running today on Sphere 4 of Bloodspawn. Reason being is because he is a big boss with lots of health, so he is good for testing for a testing dummy. All right, so we can see how much damage we can do quickly. All right, so loading on in. There you can see we got Umbros equipped. Let's jump on in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to build up that damage meter. Up to 200%, or for daggers, I guess it's 300%, my bad. And then, there we go. It looks like we are hitting for 700s when we pop our, um, our Y on a keyboard. Alright, and then, let's see. Here we go, he's at 26,000. We pop our special and he's down to 17. So we do about 9,000 damage when we pop our special. And when it comes down to daggers, really all it is is the difference between them are the stats, which don't really matter too much, but the special is really what it comes down to on your preference of which dagger set you want to use. Daggers are by far the highest DPS weapon in the game. I don't think that there are a bad set of daggers. Um, there are some that you may prefer for your style, and then some that you might not prefer uh, based on their abilities or um, maybe their slots. So and there are a lot of them out there, so I'm not going to compare this one to each one um, slot-wise or stat-wise um, because there's too many variants. But I will show you the difference in the special abilities. So Viper is good for poison damage, which stacks over time. 
and then you got uh thorn blossom which over 10 seconds everybody who hits him he takes additional damage on whatever boss you start that on and then you got light and shadow which everybody can do bonus damage to basically 50 percent of the enemies and then your next one is going to be Daggerfall, which is going to be, um, you know, you got heat seekers when you pop it, right? Like homing missiles. And then you got this one, which is unleashes all at once, just a bunch of flurries. So it does a lot of damage all at once when you pop it. So that's what this weapon is good for. So for our final weapon review on this weapon, I would say go ahead and get it. This is a good weapon. It does lots of damage, just like any other dagger. It's still fun to use, and I like it because you can pop your special and do lots of damage all in one hit instead of having to pop it and then kind of build up your damage. You can just pop it and get it all done at once. That's what it's really good for, in my opinion. That's it for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can stay tuned in for more in the future. And as always, until next time, Wayfinders.